guys, Lori here. Um, today I'm going to give you a few of the books I read um, in June for my June to be read. These books um, have to go back to the library soon, so that's why I'm going to do the review now. And I'll do my more extensive one um, sometime later next week so I can give you all the books that I read. Um, but the first book that I read was The Thief by Megan Whelan Turner. It is historical fiction with a little bit of fantasy. Um, I heard very good things about this book. Um, I follow a site called Hypable, and one of the girls on it was a really, really big fan. I just could not get into it. Um, I had I really struggled with it. I thought the characters were really interesting, and I thought it was an interesting premise, but it just was really confusing. Um, the, the adventure in the middle of it just took way too long, and it just was not engaging. Um, but I have heard that the second book in the series, Queen of Antolia, is really, really good. So it's possible that once I get to that book, I might be able to get a little bit more invested in the series. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't my favorite. I gave it three stars. It really lagged. Um, it was like 280 pages, and it took me like five days to read. And that is not normally my style. Um, yeah, it just... The, the problem was that the characters were really interesting. The magic wasn't really explained as much as I would have liked would have liked it to be. Um, so I think I might need to reread it at a later date when I'm a little bit more invested in the series. But I did have high hopes, and I've heard that it's really good. So, um, and I've also heard that the next books are really, really good. But maybe it just wasn't as magic-heavy as I would have liked, and the magic wasn't just as clear. Um, but that's one of the books that just wasn't my favorite this month, unfortunately. But hopefully when I come back to it, it will move up my list. Um, the next book I read in this month was one of my favorites, and it's White Cat by Holly Black, which is part of the Curse Worker series. I gave this book five stars. I really liked it. It was a great book, great world building. A really cool concept. The book is basically about the society where there are curse workers, people that work curses, and people that have curses worked on them. And there's this kid that's part of a very, very powerful family who is believed to not be a curse worker. Um, and a lot of stuff happens. There's a murder and other deaths and family drama and really cool side characters, really, really cool friends. Um... It was really interesting. The ending as well was really, really cool. Um, I think I'm probably going to do a, um, a review of the series when I'm done with it. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to finish the series at some point this summer. Um, but yeah, it's the Curse Worker series by Holly Black. Um, I really liked it. Um, I'm really excited to see what happens to Cassell. Um, and what happens um, to the mom and all the other characters in it. So yeah, it was it was definitely one of my favorites this summer. Um, it was a really, really quick read. I've never read anything by Holly Black before, but she really does well creating a world and getting you encaptured. Um, this was a really, really short video, but I wanted to do these books and show you guys the covers before I return to the library tomorrow. Um, but one more time, this is The Curse Workers by Holly Black. Um, it's the first book in the Chris Worker series. Um, the other two books are White Cat, I mean, sorry, Red Glove and Black Heart. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get to them this summer. Um, and the other book that I read was The Thief by Megan Whelan Turner. Um, and it is part of a five book series, I think. Um, it wasn't my favorite. A little bit too not magic heavy and just a little bit long for my liking. But I am hopeful in the future I'll be able to get back to it. Um, keep an eye out for my June read and July to be read. That's coming up soon. Um, but have a very nice day, and I hope you guys are doing well. And keep reading, everyone.